I'm not into it for the honey. I just think we as people need to do our part to help redevelop the, the bee population. All right guys, so today I'm gonna step into this bee suit and then go help some bees make their lives a bit better, make them a bit more comfortable. We're gonna give them a little extra living space. And uh, these bees are meant for um, pollinating all like the tomato plants and the apple trees and whatever other fruit plants or other the cucumbers and the okra plants, whatever fruit trees and plants need pollinating, the bees are gonna help pollinate them. So we gotta keep the bees nice and comfortable. And uh, you, at the same time, I gotta make sure I'm comfortable. I don't wanna get stung by bees. I used to be deathly allergic to bees. If I got stung, I'd have to go to the hospital right away. And um, now, since being raw vegan fruitarian, I've been stung a couple times and I haven't had that same allergic reaction. Histamine response. Histamine Definitely response. Histamine down. So, still, I don't want to get stung. It's not very fun getting stung. So, I'm going to put this bee suit on. The house, when I've been vegan five years, raw vegan fruitarian, and uh, my dad's pretty much vegan, but um, I'm not into it for the honey. I just think we as people need to do our part to help redevelop the, the bee population. Bee populations have been dwindling the last few years and um, keeping bees is a large part of it. And we got it because we're planting a bunch of fruit trees, a bunch of fruit plants like cucumbers and tomatoes and pollination through bees is an excellent way to improve crop yield. And it just helps the overall biodiversity of our garden, of our block. And the more you know who you are and what you want, the less you let things upset you. Small tip, you don't want to eat bananas before going and working with bees. Um, the scent is basically identical to their um, alert uh, pheromone. They're called a war action. Um, so if you go out with bananas, you have after eating bananas, you have a higher likelihood of getting stung. These box. <clears throat> we're gonna take these here, and this is a small super. We're gonna take these, and we're gonna make the apiary or the bees' home a little larger. We're gonna take and raise, and put this super down for their home. And we're gonna put the queen separator on top, and the the honey source on top of that, the food supply. <music> I'm pretty calm. I've done this a couple times with my dad and uh, never gotten stung. I've been around him a few times without really much of anything on either, but I guess the key is having the smoke. Set it on top, square, and push that fence back a little bit there. Got it? Okay. Ready? Push that wall back a little bit, a little bit. There we are. Vegans like ourselves. Why? Yeah, exactly. Why we have bees at our house when I've been vegan five years, raw vegan fruitarian, and uh, my dad's pretty much vegan. But um, I'm not into it for the honey. I just think we as people need to do our part to help redevelop the the bee population. Bee populations have been dwindling the last few years, and um, Keeping bees is a large part of it. And we got it because we're planting a bunch of fruit trees, a bunch of fruit plants like cucumbers and tomatoes. And pollination through bees is an excellent way to improve crop yield. And it just helps the overall biodiversity of our garden, of our block. Yeah, but I, I didn't get into it for honey. Obviously, when you're eating a lot of fruit, you don't even crave honey. I mean, you, but I mean, if you, you want to take some, and it, it may be a bonus to, to doing it. I, I haven't had any honey. I don't know if I want any, but. Um, yeah, I think it's a more it's a more 
um, complex issue than what a lot of people make it. Oh! Oh! Not like 360! Oh. That's it. That's all I got.